everybody. Uh, welcome to the screen press conference of uh, the Latvian entry in our main competition at Telling Black Knights, uh, The Chronicles of Melanie, produced in Latvia. We have with us the director of the film, Viestur Gairish, uh, the lead actress, Sabina Timoteo, uh, the director of photography, Gins Bergins, and uh, the producer of the film, Gins Grube. So welcome. Uh, Please uh, let us know when you have questions, then I will give you the floor. Uh, but uh, I would uh, like to kick to this question off with the question, uh, why did you decide to tell this story? The story of, um, uh, the story that is based on actual events, uh, on a diary that has never been published before, until recently, right, if I'm not correct. Uh, it's not uh, quite correct. Uh, the diaries were published in uh, 1988. Uh, I don't know. Now it's mm. just re re uh, released uh, once more, and and so, yeah. Uh, thank uh, thank you. First of all, thank you for the festival Black Knights for inviting the film. It's really a big honor to be here and present our movie or story. Uh, actually, it was. Uh, quite long ago when we decided this film because we, uh, the, the period of uh, making it uh, took some four or five years and, uh, and it's not easy to remember the real reasons, I could say. And the world was a bit different. There was no war in Ukraine, there was no uh, many things what is going now in the Europe and, and and uh, in world and uh, uh, the idea was I just was uh, uh, was fascinated by this very very big human story of Melania Vanaga, uh, and it uh, was not uh, that I the first idea wa wa that we wanted to to tell this uh, tragic event, those deportation of Latvian, but this human story of uh, the woman who could survive uh, spiritually in those uh, really, really tragic war events uh, and, uh, and uh, the, the, her individual experience was so strong, so powerful, and also she, as a witness, her evidences were so, so poetic in a way and so touching that it was really kind of, when I read uh, uh, this book, I, I, I really start to see the film because it's very, very poetic, vi visually rich and, and, uh, and uh, very human. And uh, yeah, then we start to speak with producer Gaines uh, and uh, somehow we realized that uh, this story is in a way not told so far in, in Latvian uh, movies, uh, like in art movies. There, there were plenty of documentaries or any kind of doc documents uh, or publications and, and books uh, released, but uh, so, uh, so big scaled movie was never done. And, and even now when we re release the film, uh, we, we heard a, a lot of opinions about uh, our courage or, uh, or that we did something very special. And I still start, start to feel uh, that it's still very controversial topic in Latvia. Even we already 25 years briefly talk about it. I don't know, it's really, really strange feeling about it. And it, I feel that uh, to tell the story it become m more important with every day and it's uh, and and it's uh, it's really we could feel also in latvia with the feedbacks of audience and 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 so the, actually i could say there were, were many several reasons but this human story and this huge uh, antique drama sujet for me was the main reason and uh, afterwards of course many of political issues also but this human story for, for me was the main, main reason. Uh, perhaps uh, Gins could comment on uh, the side of production. Uh, what were the main challenges there? I 
actually the challenges were all the time. There was no challenge to f uh, find co-producers because we find really here our co uh, film is like uh, co-production between uh, Finland and uh, Czech Republic and Latvia. And we find our co-producers exactly here in Tallinn, in, in Black Knights Film Festival, in Baltic event. It was uh, five, it was 2012. We find uh, Finns, it was really nice people from uh, Finnish Film Institute, and uh, we started to talk about the, the topic of the film. And because the, top, uh, the same story was connected with the Karelian uh, Finns. And uh, they also were deported to Siberia to the same villages. And also Melanie Ivana described in her book uh, also this story. This, to the same villages were deported also uh, Russian Germans, uh, also all uh, other Baltic people, also Jewish people, because it was uh, Baltic elite from from that time that was deported, and also Jewish people were deported. And but in two, nine, 1942 started uh, Holocaust in, in, in Riga, and we could we could imagine different versions of the life, possible possibilities of, of life of, of all these people. And then uh, two years later, when it was finished uh, uh, all shooting uh, period, we find our great uh, Czech co-producers at Head Films also. Uh, uh, here in, uh, in, in Tallinn, and uh, so our, in the beginning, idea was of a uh, very Latvian film was, was growing up uh, to, to very international co-production, and we are really happy that exactly our international premiere is, uh, is here in Tallinn and not somewhere else, because we were growing up from here. <laughs> And, um, uh, but uh, it was, yeah, it was really difficult. We started to shoot in, in, uh, in very difficult um, funding situation for Latvian cinema in 2012. We shoot first three days. We didn't know if we will uh, have an, uh, all, all other possible fundings, but we, 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 we get it. And, and a lot of people helped us, of course, also during all the years, I could say. Vistos wanted to shoot the film in real Siberia and Gins uh, <laughs> helped to find good co-producers in Russia. And they, they uh, read the treatment and said, you are crazy, guys. Uh, uh, Putin's culture ministry will not give you any <laughs> thanks to, to, for this film. And so, uh, uh, thanks to Eva and Viestos, we built uh, Siberia at the, border, at the border of Russia. Um, perhaps, Sabina, you could... Uh well, first of all, your your role uh, managed to captivate beautifully, but also painfully, the story of a woman who survives, but also is makes this total transformation as a human because there is no joy afterwards in in, the, in her life. So, perhaps you could mention uh, talk about uh, your biggest challenges and uh, how did you work with uh, Viestors to achieve that. Yeah, we did this step by step, huh, Vistors? Somehow. Somehow. <laughs> um, the biggest challenge was um, to not um, value why I was doing things. Like, because this Melanie Vanagal, she existed, and I, I just like not to have her in front in my in the frontest part, place in my mind, just to forget also about this example as a woman and just to try to be what the script says. I mean, in every situation, somehow. So that, so like, no, I was scared to death, but then forget, or like to say, it's okay, you're scared, but let's go, you know, some, something like that. And then the challenge was also, of course, uh, to act with uh, Latvian and Russian actors and knowing that I don't understand a word what they say <laughs> and still believe that I do understand, of course, but I don't. And somehow to believe that they will understand what I say when I say something, even if I don't really know what I'm saying, but I do say it. So very complex thing going on in my head while acting this part. 
and then letting go. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. But I mean, I was very well, how can I say, accompanied um, through, because of the story. The story is so clear. The path she has to go is so clear. There's no, we could do like that or we could do like this. There was no choice, just straight. So I had no choice. I just had to go. And um, I had, I mean, I was a great, great crew, always, no exception. And I felt very sustained by all these people around me. And as you know, filming is never alone. You don't do that alone. You're always in, in de you're dependent of each other all the time. And somehow this mixture of all these people giving everything they could for this, to tell this story, um, um, created something very beautiful. Well, the process of the work itself was already very beautiful. Then the result of it is something different. I can't really talk about it because I think I am more, I've seen it in, in Riga, the premiere, and I think I felt more what people felt than what I really felt about it. You know, it was so strong um, to witness, um, to be part of the public, Latvian people watching this film and being touched the way they were. I never experienced anything similar. So for me, it's, we already achieved something very, how can I say? I'm happy we did it. What were, was your question? <laughs> uh, perhaps you could also talk a bit about, uh, you know, as it's a, based on a person who has actually lived. Uh, how did you approach that? Is this character more of an interpretation or did you try to be realistic? Did you study the background of the character? Or of talk? course, I, I, yeah. I mean, I, I read the book. I read many books. Um, but then, actually, again, I had to forget about it because it's so, I mean, I have not experienced it myself. But nevertheless, I'm a human being. And I just believe my, as human being, you can actually travel everywhere in your mind if you believe it. You really can. And I think this is called like kind of empathy or it's called, uh, yeah, in German it's Mitgefühl or like, and you can go very far even if you have not experienced it just by, um, letting yourself into it somehow. And if there's a need, if there's a strong need to tell a story, um, you get carried by this energy. It's very simple, it's not, it's very easy. It's like, I don't know, it's like um, natural process somehow. And yeah, this story was needed to be told. So I got carried through and uh, yeah. Uh, perhaps uh, Gins could tell us about the di direction of photography. It's, uh, in my opinion, it's a very, very beautiful film. The cinematography is uh, haunting, uh, yet somehow elevating. So, could you perhaps tell us what, what were your goals? It was my goals here in this film. Actually, uh, I think the first goal is that this film is black and white. I'm absolutely sure, and, and even uh, when I received from Vester's first uh, script, uh, I was absolutely, absolutely impressed, and I decided it had to be black and white, and then I tried to find words how to describe to Vester's and Eva, and then afterwards to, to, to producers, because you know, like nowadays, you, everybody can imagine if you are starting some project and somebody very silently start to say, maybe let's shoot this film black and white and afraid about these answers and so on. Um, because many, many, uh, many, many uh, reasons why don't shoot uh, black and white and as well why to do it. And uh, I think this is good and correct uh, decision for this film. Uh, I can't imagine this, uh, this film uh, color, maybe some kind of desaturated way or so on, but anyway, it will be not fish, not meat. It doesn't work, I think, from my point of view. And this, um, uh, I think it's, it's, it's additional level for, for this film that it's black and white. And then afterwards uh, arrived maybe lighting, composition, and, and, and some, some camera movements and everything 
which is around uh, around uh, about my job about cinematography. Yeah, it's shortly, very shortly to say. Do we have any questions? <clears throat> First of all, uh, I think um, uh, uh, it uh, it was women because women survived. Men were uh, they were separated and men were sent to gulag. Is this uh, uh, kind of uh, camp where uh, almost everybody died in first? First year, first two years, uh, and uh, and uh, I don't know about. We are very often we are speaking about those 25 years. Why we need this period of time to tell this story uh, and t tell in 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 language of art? Uh, probably we 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 would uh, kind of before it, there was a lot of documentaries about the topic. And, and those were really like documents. It was like docu do documental study of, of process. And, and to, to, because the intention of us not to make a kind of uh, uh, historical drama, but to, to, to work with real art house, to make really, to, 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 to try to, to, to deal with territory of art in this historical, based on historical topic. And, and probably we, we, we needed those uh, 25 years, I don't know. And also, there, there is something about those 20 years that you must pass, then you could start to kind of uh, look on, on those uh, events just from another point of view. I don't know. Of course, in other cases, case, those are just theories. We don't know how it is, but... Uh, but uh, yeah, and uh, and uh, actually also the woman, I could say it's in a way very symbolical because uh, in Latvia we survived and we still are Latvians probably because of our women, not because of our men. And uh, and women is very strong in Latvia. And uh, somehow I think it's honest to make this film from a point of view of, of a woman. But uh, it's just my probably yeah. gains, gains know about history very much. All men were killed like yeah. from the 1941 deportation. Yeah. So they died. Well, some woman who uh, she survived and she could write. I think there are very strong words in the film just to notice that we have been. May I add one question about the book? Will it be republished now when the film is going out? Film, uh, the book is republished in Latvia, and, and uh, last year, uh, last year was also translated uh, in English, and uh, you could you could buy. I think the English title is uh, Latvian is Veljupus Krasta, and English title is Suddenly Criminal, 16 Years in Siberia. I think. Do we have any, any more questions? Um, I have a question uh, about the style, which I personally very much enjoyed because um, it, was, um, it was a very nice balance between, um, it managed to captivate at the same time the ugliness of history but, and also the suffering, but also somehow expressing the beauty in the world that surrounds this uh, ugliness. So what were your, like, mm, what was your mission that you set, sent out when you designed the style of the film? Like, why, why these shots? Why these angles? Uh, I think it's uh, not so easy to, to say about uh, uh, some shots or angles, but in general, this beauty of this Siber Siberian nature with uh, kind of one very important thing why uh, Melania was survived, because uh, she really 
and she described it, it very well. She really went to Taiga. Just it started to become her uh, church, uh, her uh, spiritual exile. This this uh, wood, this beauty of nature, and and and. And if you, you lived in such a terrible circumstances and, and you need something, some, some, something bigger, some, some beauty. And uh, I, th I think the, the beauty of the nature, it is uh, uh, something that works by itself. But in general, we, 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 deter we decided to, to, to try to make this film very subjective. It was very subjective, and uh, very often uh, we we go into unconsciousness of uh, main uh, character, and to to try to really focus on her point of view. And and and, and when you re read a lot of stories, you also you could understand that they are very often uh, because of because of star starving, and and so they are re really sometimes went psychologically a little bit out of focus. They are almost dying. They don't have this concentration. Uh, and, uh, and also, al also they, they really, uh, a lot of uh, memories or evidence are about dreaming. They very often, dre uh, this dreaming become like also another, uh, another reality uh, who helps. And uh, we, we used all those things just to make not kind of uh, melodrama or this historical uh, with uh, black and we, we did black and white, but it was not black and white, uh, like uh, bad characters and good characters and so it's uh, like like uh, we just to understand that all uh, all war situations, all all kind of those things are bad in general. There is no winners in those situations, and uh, even for a moment you feel as a winner and uh, and somehow yeah in a way it was very important to show to show the uh, spiritual power of her the uh, the power of spirit is much more important than uh, this physical power and uh, i think it was, it is very very important in today life that we still have in in our daily decision decisions we, we need to choose right way and it's sometimes very very complicated to choose uh, best uh, for not, uh, not we always choosing the best just for us but not somehow best in general I don't know how to descri describe not to become very pathetic uh, and, uh, and um, yeah I think this is uh, like content what, what uh, uh, really influenced uh, also fo form of the movie and also DOP style and and uh, and uh, and we are working with Gains uh, uh, all time and uh, the visual quality of movies for us is very important. I I, I don't believe in movies where where people don't think about visuality about cin cin cinematography uh, and not today it's most of movies it's just focused on on sujet of some. Uh, something for me it's uh, still I believe in this big movies in this kind of movies real movies where you feel everything uh, from from the emotions from actors and also for uh, for, for uh, visual qualities for DOP work and and it's kind of in a way it's very nostalgic way of making movies no questions um well, uh, the film, uh, actually, as you told us, uh, it was uh, already, the production began a long time ago. Probably when you be began, you didn't, you didn't know that uh, the Estonians were making their own uh, uh, film on the same topic. Uh, but how would you, I mean, I wouldn't, I w yeah, I wouldn't compare those films because in some sense they're quite different, especially due to style, but... Uh, um, how would you? Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen the Crosswinds. Yeah, yeah. Seen, yeah. So, did did you like this film yeah. or? I like it very much, mm. uh, and uh, I found it it's great. And of course, it's not uh, not great for us that we are not first. <laughs> <laughs> sure, as always, Estonians are 
quicker. <laughs> but uh, no, but it's uh, <laughs> but uh, but in a way, it's uh, completely uh, what is good about uh, crosswinds that it's completely different style and it's uh, very dependent on 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 kind of attraction in in, in, in and it's very good done, but it's a completely different way and in somehow we are completely different. But still in art house uh, territory, what is uh, kind of interesting, and still in a black and white way that we not uh, also we're not going to kind of very stable movie, and uh, I don't know why. But it uh, seems to refer to something very similar going on in the in the two societies at the same time because it's uh, they, in yeah. Lithuania they also had this uh, film about this uh, topic uh, excursantka I don't know so it's, I don't know but, but why it's uh, why it's like this I think this is the same answer for, to the question about 25 years there is very strange that we three countries uh, almost in one period after 25 years released uh, three films almost about uh, <coughs> one topic, about one tragic event, I don't know. Also somehow, uh, somehow I think our, for Latvian side I could say, we could feel every day that our nation need, uh, that, that we tell the story to them. It's kind of, for them, it's, now we see that it's very crucial to, to see the film even. It's, tragic, it's difficult, and it's not uh, kind of easy. And I don't know, probably we are already a little bit uh, start to think about ourselves, not just uh, what, uh, how, to, how to reach wealthness or, or something like that. I don't know. And how was the, how was the re reception in Latvia? Uh, we, I think, uh, Gins could tell. Yeah, we had a uh, national premiere was in 1st November. And since then, uh, 50,000 people watched the film. It's the most watched Latvian film of this year. It's really, really unbelievable reaction of the, of the, of the audience in Latvia. Yeah, it's a third week now. And, uh, and, uh, and also, it's, 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 it was unexpected for us, yes. But I could say that uh, we could compare uh, Lithuanian or Estonian films. There are many films about Holocaust, and we, we are not comparing all the time all this film. It's, I think it's, it, there is something special why every uh, why, why we stores and we wanted to tell the, uh, make this film, or why all films wanted to make a crossing. Uh, there, there must be different reasons for everybody. I just wanted to add something about the 25 years because in uh, Scandinavia, in Norway, and Denmark, it took us 25 years after making a lot of the hero film from the Second World War to go into the, uh, the, the problem, the depths, and see what did we wrong. Uh, and also to tell stories about friendship between Norwegians and Germans, and how the Norwegian treated the Jews, and so on. So it was exactly the same. Yeah, probably it's kind of objective period of time, what's necessary for But I could tell, yeah, because uh, many families have this experience. I think we are next generation. Yeah. And I, I talked with the granddaughters of uh, real Melanie Vanagan. They told that for, it was not allowed uh, to them to talk uh, in a school yeah. during Soviet time uh, about uh, that uh, the grandmother or mother was deported. The same was in my family. I think uh, so it's a reason why this long time don't talk about it in the school was somehow in our mind, and uh, we are looking how to how to how to start to talk about. It. Now we are starting from here. Yeah. We are meeting now tomorrow uh, Estonian distributors, and we, are, we hope we hope that also Estonian we will start with Estonian as the next. Also, we have premiere in uh, in Finland is in uh, December. Yes. <laughs>